Jaeger from Disney Channel here. And I'm so excited about everything on this Disney cruise. The sun, the swimming, the aqua duck. <laughs> but one of the things I can't wait to do is get outside and connect with nature. I'm here with Brett, and he's taking us behind the waves to tell us about some of the ways Disney Cruise Line is helping to promote wildlife conservation all around the world, including right here on Castaway Key, Disney's private island in the Bahamas. That's right, Jenna. We definitely want guests to get out there in nature when they're enjoying Castaway Key. The vast majority of the land here on the island remains undeveloped, perfect for guests to observe nature, go kayaking, snorkeling, and hiking. That's great. Yes, it is. And some of our guests even have the chance to observe some of our local wildlife here on the island through a hands-on training experience with our stingrays. Plus, a portion of the proceeds for this experience are contributed to the Disney Conservation Fund. What's that? The Disney Conservation Fund helps reverse the decline of threatened wildlife ecosystems around the world. Plus, it helps increase the time kids spend in nature. Our guests can help support these important programs by enjoying experiences right here on Castaway Key. Speaking of ecosystems, I know that coral reef are pretty important to the health of our oceans. Absolutely. That's why Disney Cruise Line has teamed up with local nonprofit organizations, Disney researchers, and educators in a multi year project to restore the health of coral reefs around Castaway Key and throughout the Bahamas. And we're doing it in a really cool way with sea urchins. Really? How does that work? We're taking long spine sea urchins native to the area here and translocating them to coral reefs that are endangered by algae overgrowth. The sea urchins graze on the algae similar to a lawnmower keeping the grass short. Researchers have also been able to study the impacts on reefs as well as successfully grow and transplant new corals. They've seen a 70% growth in survival rate of the coral they've cultivated from the previous years. That is totally wild. Thanks for taking us behind the waves and giving us an inside look.